Hey, this is Curtis Alexander. I'm a pharmacist. In this video, um, I want to talk about the keto diet, people who are struggling with keto diet and want to move away and reintroduce carbs, how best to do that. Um, I got this question from a video I post about the keto diet and how it can still make it look like you're having insulin, sugar problems. Uh, I'll link to that in the description. But the question, the video that is being talked about today came from one of the comments and I want to read it really quick. Um, so this person goes on to say, I was on keto for a year, very strict for the last six months. I feel awful. My blood sugars are all over the place. I used to never have that issue. Um, doesn't have any idea why this is going on. Um, thank you for your honesty. Most won't tell you about the truth about keto. They keep saying to give it more time, but it's been a year. How many carbs do you have now? How do you generally eat? And what do you consider good carb sources? So I want to tackle that in this video. First and foremost, one of the big problems, and we all have to be careful about this, is it's easy to tie our identities to a diet, whether it's keto or carnivore or vegetarian. Uh, we want to vilify one macronutrient, and that's a mistake because our body needs all of them to operate optimally. Now, a keto person will watch this and go, well, you don't need carbohydrates. Okay, you can technically live without them. It's just not ideal. You won't feel well. Um, I didn't, and a lot of the people in this videos that I post about keto say the same thing. They feel like garbage. So don't tie your identi identity to it. Keep your mind open. And, uh, you know, in these videos, I try to focus on facts biochemistry, how your body utilizes micronutrients, macronutrients. So as far as the carbohydrates go, how many? This person commented, said they're almost up to 100. But if you're moving from keto to reintroducing carbs, go very, very slow. Uh, I was down to 30 to 50 grams of carbs a day, sometimes less. Uh, when I was trying keto and very low carb and I immediately just, I reintroduced carbs uh, willy-nilly. I just kind of went full bore with it and I was within a few days up to two to 300 grams of carbs a day and that was not the right way to do it. I, if I had to do it again, I would reintroduce them much more slowly, meaning like the first week uh, I would maybe bump it up 20, 30, maybe 40 grams of carbs a day. Uh, so if you're at 50, think about going to 75, 80, 90 grams of carbs. Then the next week, bump it up a little more and just see how you're doing with the reintroduction. I would not do what I did, which is go from 330 to 200. So go much more slowly than I did. Um, I do think there's better carb sources to first reintroduce. I would stick with very simple carbohydrates. I wouldn't introduce any sort of um, like carbohydrates I eat now. I can eat, uh, I make my own sourdough, uh, well-cooked potatoes I have no issues with. Um, but if I had to do it now, I would stick with fruits and I would even stay away from some of the starchier fruits like a banana, that type of stuff. Maybe just go with um, some of your more tropical fruits, melons, those sorts of things. Uh, and don't be afraid to cook some of your fruits, like cooked apples, uh, I even cook bananas once in a while now when you're able to handle those. So those are some of the things, uh, honey, real maple syrup, um, some of those things, and then slowly reintroduce some of your starchy, or car starchy carbohydrates like your potatoes, those sorts of thing over time. And then how do I eat now? Um, the one thing I've learned to do a little better is listen to what my body is telling me. If you're craving salts, that's a good indicator that your body needs salt. Don't be afraid to give your body that. If I'm craving sweets, then I may up my carbohydrate intake. But in general, a good place to start, in my opinion, is just do, um, sorry to be a 33, 33. 33 uh, fats, carbohydrates, and um, protein. And just kind of balance them out, see how you do. And I probably nowadays go a little more 
my carbohydrates are probably 40-ish percent of my diet, maybe 45 percent. Depends on the day. Uh, some days it gets up to 50 percent. Um, and then I'll mix in protein and fat in addition to that. Um, that's me. That's what works best for me. My advice to you, go slow with carbohydrate reintroduction. Start with your simpler carbohydrates right off the bat. Then begin to reintroduce some of the starchier ones. It's not that they're bad, just some people don't handle them as well when you've been away from them for a long time. And then just adjust. Start with a balance and then just adjust based off how you feel. There is no right or wrong macronutrient ratio for you. If you're not super active, you can stay more on, on a little lower carb. If you're active, you can go a little higher carb. If carbs make you sleep better, stay higher carb. Just base it off of you. But th that would be my general advice if you're moving away from keto or some of these other low carb diets and you want to reintroduce some carbohydrates. So like the other videos, if you have questions, post them in the comments. Um, you know, I really want to put out videos that you guys find helpful. So I, I hope that this one was. And until the next one, thank you.